Hey, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless. And I think I've finally figured out what the problem was with Affinity Photo's displacement map. Uh, we've had problems in the past. Many people have complained about it. So let me show you what I mean. Here's a picture that I did after I figured it out. So let's hide those right now. And let's create the same idea. So I'm going to put displacement and I'll move this here. Maybe a little smaller. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now I'll lower it to about here and then I'll warp it. Okay, that's good enough for the purpose of this video. So, I'm going to duplicate that just so we have the just so we have a way of showing you how everyone seems to be doing it and what the problem is. So, com command or control J and I duplicate it. And I'll get rid of these old ones. I'll put them underneath. Okay, so let's work with this one. The way everyone seems to be doing it, and it's causing problems as we go filter, distort, displace. And then you load the map from the layer beneath, which is the blue. And we load that map. And it does all these weird, horrible things. I mean, it's, it could be a cool effect if that's what you're looking for, but that's not in any way what I'm looking for in displace. It's just very, it's just very poorly done. So I'm going to cancel that. And now what I'll do is let's hide this. I'm going to take the background, duplicate it, control command J and take the new background and desaturate it. So I'm going to go to HSL here and then we'll just take the saturation way down like that. All right, and then I only want it to affect that one layer. And then the next thing I want to do is blur it. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we want to pretty much, we don't want to lose everything, but we want to, we want to keep the colors, the shades in, but we want to lose some of the detail. So I'm going to try this. I mean, we may need to try more than one to get it right. But this is the one I'm going to try. And so I'm going to say apply. And now I'll do file, export. I want to export it as a PNG. And I am going, I've done some here, so I'll call this a new name. I'm going to call it um, displace number, water number three. Okay, and make that save. Now I'm done with this, so I can get rid of this background. I'll move it down in case I need to make changes. Bring this background back and bring my displacement wording back. And now this time I'll take it and I'll say filter, distort, displace, and don't hit load map from underneath. Let's put load map from file. And what we're looking for is that that's the gray one I just created. And then we just slightly move it. Okay, just say like that, which is not bad. And there we go. And now if we even want, we can turn the maybe overlay or soft light. I, can, I like overlay. And that's how you get a displacement. So you make sure you have to turn it to uh, black and white. You have to desaturate it and you have to blur the one underneath. Now I did one in a t-shirt. So I'll show you. Here's, here's one that I did with this. So what I actually did, I'll delete that, that logo, is I took the t-shirt, I duplicated it, control J, and then with that second t-shirt, I did filter, 
Well, we have to make sure it's desaturated, which I believe it is, but just in case, I don't want any color in it at all, so I took all the saturation down and make sure it only applies to, oops, only applies to that t-shirt. There we go. And then I blurred it. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I kind of just want to leave some shades in there like that, but I want no details and say apply and then I said file export PNG and I will export it we already have a displace T so I'll do displace T2 and save and replace it oops I guess there was a 2 but that's okay I'm still gonna use that now I can delete this since I know it's gonna work and now I go file place and I bring in my logo and I'm gonna bring it low because here's where you could see all the seams in this particular graphic so I'll bring it around there also make sure you're viewing at 100 percent or otherwise it'll look distorted so then now that we have that we say filter distort displace and load map from file and I just created displace T2 and I'm going to just see how that nicely that works I'll just give it a little and say apply now if you really wanted to go further and I don't really recommend this you can't go further because it gets really uh, fuzzy and distorted but on the first time but if you want to do it you can do filter uh, let me see distort displace a second time and again load from the map file same map file and it allows you to just jut it up like a little bit more each if you went a little at a time on each one you can get really drastic but so I think that works I want to thank so many of you because you've been subscribing and I really appreciate it I'm only doing this for about three months so far and I, I think it's wonderful all the comments and compliments I've gotten. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and have a good day.